Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my August favorites for you all. Like seriously, in a few days time, it's gonna be spring. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. Like it's been so cold, it's been so gloomy, it's been so shit for so long where I live. I live in Sydney and like the weather's just been like off the walls. So I'm just so happy for the warm weather to be here. We've had a few like random days of warmth. So seriously, it's made me so keen for summer and the warm weather, I am so excited. But anyway, that's me rambling. Let's get on to the favorites because I have quite a few little things to show you guys. So the first product that I want to talk about is one of my holy grail products ever and I don't know if I've actually told you guys how much I love this product. This is the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. This is basically just a radiating primer that I put on underneath foundation to give myself a luminous kind of glow to the skin. It has been winter here in Australia and especially where I live it's quite cold. Um, so having a product like this definitely gives life back to my face. Like, there's only so much radiance that foundation and highlight can give. Sometimes you definitely need to give like your, your skin that boost from underneath and this definitely does it for me. I cannot wait to use this in the summertime also just to look like a bronzed goddess thing. <laughs> now although it has been winter, my still my still my skin still gets relatively oily. So to control that oil, I mean I pulled out the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've owned this for quite some time, but I've never really used it on a regular basis. I've used it here and there and whatnot, but I haven't used it consecutively. But this month I have, and I have been so absolutely impressed. This is the two ounce size, so um, it does come in a squeeze tube. If you buy it in the one ounce, it is in a bottle form. Um, but yeah, I have the larger one, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It keeps my makeup on. It doesn't keep me matte, but it does keep the foundation there, and then I can just powder over the top, and I'm still good to go. Absolutely love this, and when I don't use it, I notice that my foundation doesn't stay on as long. Speaking of foundation, I've been mixing two together to get like my perfect color for like my tan cycle. I tan once a week now, so I'm not super, super dark all the time. I'm kind of just super dark at the start of the week and then towards the end of the week, I'm kind of really pale. Um, not really pale to the point where I'm just using one shade by itself, but I am still significantly lighter than what I was at the start of the week, if that made sense, if that's of any difference at all. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been using on a daily basis. It's the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F200. You can tell that I love this stuff. It's basically almost gone. I'm sure this will be finished by the end of next month. I love this stuff. It's amazing on its own and it's amazing as a mixer. And then in addition to that, I kind of just mix and match a little bit more of each one depending on how dark I am. But this is the YSL Touche Clat or Touche Clat Foundation. This is in the shade B10. And this is absolutely gorgeous. These two mixed together give you the most radiant look. I can't wear this by itself because I don't feel like it lasts all the best. And also, I'm very rarely this pale anyway. But mixing it with the AX1, it's just like a match made in heaven. Like, it's just, it gives your skin the most beautiful, beautiful look. So in terms of face powder, you guys know that I love the Bourjois Healthy Balance Press Powder. I have hit pan on that and I do... Once I've hit pan on something, I do like to move on to something else, just so I can get like a rotating use out of everything. So I have been using my MAC MSF Natural Press Powder. So I bought the shade Medium Golden recently, and then I already own the shade Light in the old packaging. So I do find that Medium Golden, unless I am at my darkest tan, is quite dark, um, or at least once it's actually on the skin, it is quite dark and quite orange. So to avoid that, I've been mixing the powder with the light shade. So medium golden, if you're fake tanned, mixed with light is a perfect shade. And I kind of just mix a little bit more of light if I'm getting a bit lighter, or I mix in a little bit more medium golden if I'm still quite tanned. And these two mixed together are amazing. I kind of wish they would just make a lighter color, but still keep the undertone of this one. But until then, I'll have to just mix them, but it's a really, really beautiful combination and it does make my makeup, in addition with the veil, primer and the foundations, this makes a quite a good mix and I don't need to touch up as often in the day as I would beforehand. For highlighter, I've been obsessed with the NARS Albatross Highlighter. I've owned this for quite some time 
and I'll use it on occasion, but I've never used it consecutively. I don't know why, but I started using this on a regular basis just to try and get more use out of it, and I absolutely love it. I'm not wearing it today, surprisingly. Let's pop some on. Let's just pop some on. Why not? I've already got like two highlighters on my face, but what's one more going to do? And it just, it gives you like the most amazing, amazing glow. Like, do you see that? Like, obviously I have other highlighters on, but like, seriously, I love it so much. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It looks amazing. And with the tan, oh, it looks like you're glowing from within. Not even kidding. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I feel like every single month, I need to mention at least one MAC lipstick. And I don't know how it took me 50 MAC lipsticks to actually purchase this one. I don't know. But this is MAC Diva. I am obsessed with the shade. It was absolutely gorgeous for the winter time. I'm just disappointed in myself for not buying it sooner. That's the only regret that I have with this lipstick. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a matte formula, I think. Yeah, it's a matte formula, but it's definitely not a drying matte. It's just a matte that will stay in place, and it just it's an amazing matte. I can't fault it at all. Um, yeah, amazing color. If you're going into winter or going into autumn, um, wherever you may live, definitely pick up this shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't fault that at all. Okay, so I want to talk about a lip base from Sigma. This was sent to me, but I'm in no way, shape, or form making this shit up. This is really, really good. Um, I wouldn't tell you guys if I thought it was just all just average stuff. This is really, really good. It is called a lip base, so I'm guessing they kind of use it as like a base underneath a lipstick or something, but I like using it on its own. It's a giant crayon. It's not like a jumbo crayon, but it's definitely larger than, say, a normal pencil. It's a little bit thicker than that. And this is in the shade Mirth. M-I-R-T-H. This is the most a beautiful color ever. Like, look how easy it is just to swatch it. Like, it's so creamy. It's so smooth. And it's not drying on the lips either. But it's not, like, super slip that it just like runs off your face or wears away it's got the perfect amount of balance of matte but still comfortable if that makes any sense i really really enjoy this i own one other one but seriously i want to buy like all the colors these are great like i'm not going to talk about it anymore it's great so lucky last, I want to talk about the Milani Color Statement Lipstick. This is in the shade Nude Cream. I have so many of these Milani Color Statement Lipsticks and I love them. Um, this one I've been using every single morning before work. I don't bring this with me only because I have no idea. I like just touching up with lip balm. I don't like anything too like... I don't like anything too pigmented after I actually get to work because I'm there to work. I'm not there to look nice. Um, but yeah, I love this colour. It's amazingly beautiful. It's what I have on my lips right now. Here is a swatch of it there. It's not matte, but it's not super glossy, but it's not super dry either. It's just like a perfect everyday nude lipstick. I love it so much. Okay guys, so that's all the beauty favourites that I have to show you guys for the month of August. You can tell that I've been loving a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm so excited for what the month of September is going to bring. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment some videos that you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, I will see you next time.